Remember all the days we struggled and couldn't eat. Oh, Daryl's sad about his homeless buddy. Oh, they used to, you know, be hungry together, you know, and sit in the car together, you know, and be cold together, you know, still together, I'm sure. Oh, and then he just changed on him. What did he do? Go get a job? Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> I couldn't even believe it getting changed on me. He wrote a whole song about a guy who stopped being his friend because he found out he was on the registry. Now let that sink in. Imagine that. You had a homeboy. Your homeboy then found out that she was on the registry, okay, for doodling children. Your homeboy said, if you come around here again, I'm pulling your head off your shoulders. You then turn around and write a love ballad about how he changed on you. Remember when them cases had me stuck in that cubicle? Oh yeah, it's not really called a cubicle, it's a cell. And yes, I do remember you being in one. In fact, you're in one right now. It's funny that you mentioned that. Remember back when they used to have me in a cubicle? No, because you do cubicles at jobs. You never had a job, Daryl. I think you mean a cell. <laughs> nice try though, Daryl. Nice try. Now here we go. <laughs> so look. So, um, mm, that happened. That, there's Daryl. There's Daryl. His shoulders are the height of the towel rack. Nuff said. Nuff said. Nuff said. Okay. Daryl is so little, y'all. Look at this. It's going to be hard for me to get past it. Daryl, you in this 16 size waist. He got a 16 inch waist, y'all. Daryl, honey, no. No, honey, no. With this here belt. It, are we supposed to believe that this is Hermes? Is this Hermes? Is this what this is supposed to be, Daryl? Oh, let's see. I think he's going to tell us about it. Look, look, look. Man, y'all know usually y'all rock the red Hermes belt. Oh, he usually wears his red Hermes, you know. But tonight, you know, <laughs> he decided to go with the black Hermes. <laughs> Daryl, you are hilarious, honey. First of all, that belt is interchangeable. It, uh, second of all, damn sure ain't Hermes. Okay, uh, okay. Okay, Daryl. And let's discuss your shoulder height with this towel rack, okay? You being as tall as this towel rack, it's that part for me. <laughs> and that gigantic ass fucking face. Oh my God, y'all. Oh, the gifts that Daryl gives. Daryl, tell us. Damn, we do the black joint. Oh, you, you know doing the? Oh God, put your shirt down. Do the black joint, man. It's the kid, man. Oh my God. Look, look, look. Usually y'all rock the red Hermes belt. Damn, we do the black joint. You know what I'm saying? Look, look, look. Do the black. Look, look at his mama robe on him. <laughs> Dawn needs her robe. Put play it in the bathroom, Daryl. Okay. Look at this. Y'all know I usually rock the er the red Hermes. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. Look at the head to body ratio. Look at the head to body ratio, y'all. I mean, like really sit, like, like really let it set in. The head to body ratio. Like his ears are almost lined up with the sides of his arms. Like this. <laughs> that's a no. How in the world? How, girl? How? I wanna know how. How is that even possible? I know when your mother was giving birth to you, she was like, what the fuck? This is going to be the biggest baby in the history of babies. And as soon as the head popped out, the whole thing just fell because turned out it was just all head. He was just all head. It was like a head and then like a stick behind it. It was like a head dragon. Daryl came out of his mother like a sperm, okay? Daryl is a giant sperm, This is what he, which explains, you know, him leaving babies everywhere, okay? Daryl looks like a sperm, okay? Just a head and a tail. That's it. Just a head and a tail. Hit the like button for mama, please. Yes, please and thank you. Like joint, man. It's the kid, man. Y'all It's the kid. It's the kid. <laughs> Daryl. Daryl, you are not a child. You are so old ass man. <laughs> Daryl was never going to grow up. He was always going to be a Toys R Us kid. There were way too many children and Children and toys that he could play with, okay? Daryl, bye. <laughs> he marked out that he. Oh my God, that beat is so not it, okay? That it's not like somebody's shitting on guitar strings. <laughs>
somebody done lined up some guitar strings over the toilet seat and just shitting through them. That's what that sound like. That's what your beat sound like. <laughs> I just got a low for about a half a ticket. Did you, did you get a low? Was it a half a ticket though? Let's just hear him say the line, y'all. It's his first line of his song. I just got a low worth about a half a ticket. <laughs> Oh, oh, Daryl, you funny. Oh, look, Daryl's got his own portrait on his hat. <laughs> <laughs> you and this deer is toting the same body, okay? You is shaped just like this deer. You shaped just like him, Daryl, okay? This, this, that's why I got a D on his shirt. That's you. That is a self-portrait that Daryl got on his hat. Big ass head, tiny ass fucking body. Yes. Uh-huh. And sitting just like a lady. <laughs> I know you don't like it, girl, but did I lie though? But did I lie? The answer is no. 30 in the flicker when I'm out here chasing chicken was Oh my god, he out here chasing chicken. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Daryl was gonna be a rap star, y'all. <laughs> Let's see what this song was about, y'all. I, I we've we've watched this video. Well, I never listened to it before. Let, let's see what he was singing about in this one. I think this is the one where he's like sitting on a bridge. <laughs> that he should have just jumped off of. But you know, he didn't. Because we, we could dream though. We could dream. Okay, okay. get to the singing part, Daryl. Let me try to listen to you. Shitty beat for 45 minutes, okay? Jesus. Just walking down the street still. Money calling on the line, I couldn't buzz still. Wait, what? Money calling on the line, I couldn't buzz skill. Buzz kill? Was it buzz kill? Because even if it wasn't, it makes sense. Uh, oh my god. In the 20s, I just counted off a drug deal. Oh my god. <laughs> Daryl, you said you don't do none of that stuff. Daryl's belly button is, is, is like where the doorknob is, where, where the little hole spot is on this door. Look at this. You ain't a grinder, you got fronted how you look at look at look at Daryl hanging out at the school. Daryl hanging out at the schoolyard waiting on his girlfriend slash somebody's tiny child. Okay. Then he know it damn well he had no business being over there on that registry that he on, trying to hide his little peninsula. <laughs> oh, is this before your little braid broke in half? <laughs> I think this the braid is like broke in half. Am I, am I wrong? Am I wrong about that? I don't think I'm wrong about that. I think I'm right. T -t plug feel. Get them in, get them gone. That's how my plug feel. We was sliding on the hot. Now that's a hit. Keep a blinker when we move. We got some sticks. Red bottoms on the chain. Sell a sauce. Look at that. Red bottoms on the... Look at this. He, him having red on the bottom of his shoes. Those is not red bottoms, honey. Look at this. Now, if only he could have fell off, you know? <laughs> this would have solved so many problems for so many people. If he would have just fell off, okay? Broke his little legs. Stand. I was running through a soft 10. Oh, oh one, I was running through the soft 10. What is a soft 10 and then the soft 10? And then the popped in, okay. And then the loft in, okay. Oh, Daryl, just give up. Just quit. Quit all your dreams. No more dreams. No more dreams for you, Daryl. Okay. It ain't right. <laughs> Step it up, son. You talking to a boss man? <laughs> Flexing out around these bitches. Tell them stand down. Errol Spence, that's a man down. Oh my God. Him and his little references. He's like, yeah, nailed it. I don't know who that is, Daryl. Okay. I don't know who that is. You talking about? Okay, when you use name references, they need to be people that somebody could recognize the name of when you say it. If we got to look it up, it's not a good line. <laughs> we got all the bodies. We got all the shooters. Oh, do you? I Here he go with that we again, y'all. <laughs> we got all the... I got all the bodies. <laughs> Daryl, where are your homies at? How often do you see a blood... Like, that's the whole point of joining a gang, is it not? <laughs> So that you don't have to be alone. I, I was under the impression that that was the whole reason to join a gang. Like, was you feeling lonely? You don't feel accepted or supported, you know? So you go find a gang to support you and get you some charges on that there registry. Look at them waiting for the kids, the little girls to get off the school bus. 
So it can be like, hey girl, what you need is a real man in your life. Where your daddy at? Ooh, he ain't around, is he? Ah, nice. That's what Daryl like. He like the girl, little girls that ain't got no daddies. Cause if they got a daddy, his ass is gonna be grass for even talking to her. Daryl's so gangster. Look at him. He's so gang. Daryl, you know, if you were, like, if something was to pop off, you're like alone. You have no, where are your friends? Like, Walking around in all red, this is how you know. There probably ain't no gang stuff even going on around here. Because him walking around all by himself, always wearing red. Where there's red, there's blue. This is this is how gang stuff works. If there's a if you live in a city and there's people, a bunch of people wearing red and there is there's a gang, that means there's a blue. Anywhere where there's bloods, there's crips. That they, they go together. Okay. So, <laughs> so the fact that you just walking around this fucking place, wearing red, trying to insinuate that you's a blood, you would have the fear of running into a crypt. So clearly you you don't. Clearly that doesn't exist where you are. Okay. So this, when he's making these videos and stuff, this is in the time frame when he was living in those abandoned cars. His words on, in court. Because his other baby mama, not Erica, one of his other baby mamas, would bring him stuff and give him things when he was living in those abandoned fucking cars. So while he's out here talking about his half a ticket, <laughs> he was living in abandoned fucking cars. During the time where Daryl said he had a half a million dollars to spend on a low rider, Daryl was living in abandoned cars and had one of his baby mama bringing him peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. This is, and, and this is him and all his dreams, rhyming words with the same fucking word. Which is not how rhyming works, Daryl. That's not a rhyming word if it's the same fucking word. Counting up the math, I call it rain, man. And he ran across the street from his mama's house. Blah, blah, blah. He can't get far. He can't get he can't get far, y'all. His mama don't give him gas money. He can't leave the driveway. That's how it works, okay? That's the sign. Rounds in the chopper, call me rain, man. Free smoke for a goofy, let it rain, man. Hit the club and make it rain dance. You just Hit the club and make it rain dance. Oh my God. Oh my God. Just because it's a term doesn't mean it makes sense in the reference that you're using it. Okay. Rain man, rain dance. Got you. Roger Dodger. Jack into these hoes. I be standing on them. Uh -huh. You know we getting in here with them ratchets on them. Is he ratchet on them? Find out the bar. Tell him keep me coming. Uh -huh. Bro, come <laughs> get your bitch. I can't keep her off come me. Get her. Oh, he can't keep her off him, y'all. <laughs> She be all on me, man. I can't keep her off me. Really, Daryl? Really? Is that the story we're telling? I can't keep her off me. Oh my God, the dreams and delusions of a girl. Daryl with this backpack on, honey. What? Hey, put it in the chat. What's in Daryl's backpack? <laughs> what is in Daryl's backpack right now? Y'all tell me what y'all thinks in his backpack. Now, keep in mind, this is around the time where he was living in abandoned cars. So that should help you with your guesses, okay? <laughs> what is inside? Of Daryl's backpack. Oh, Daryl, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you gonna have a home. You you had dreams and aspirations, and you will meet them. You're gonna have a home, okay? You're gonna never have to worry about food. You're always gonna have a full belly. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You're gonna always have a bed. Now, sometimes you might have to share it. Sometimes you might have to share your cot with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? And it might get a little uncomfortable. I'm <laughs> just saying. <laughs> but you know what? If you do a good job, if you be a good boy, you might get some ramen. Like, you know, they might give you ramen. So, you know, there's that. You know, you got to dream. Even from the Supermax, you can dream, okay? You can dream. Oh, look. Daryl's out at a... Uh... Some place where they have cups that are bigger than him. <laughs> Daryl, that is a regular size cup. And somehow it is bigger than your torso. This is ridiculous. I'm going to need for you to do better, big face. Hey, big face. Hey, big face. Pointy fingers. Look at the, look at this. Look at this fingernail. Look at it. Look at these fingernails, y'all. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look how he holds his cup. It's like. <laughs> Daryl is such a lady, y'all. Look how you holding this cup. Oh my God. Who bought you that drink? Cause you damn sure didn't buy it. Okay. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> uh oh. And this a love song, y'all. This a Daryl love ballad. <laughs> the late oh, song. now you mad. I hope you Been mad. Told you, that. you gotta dig it. I told you don't get attacked. Oh 
my God. Don't get attached. Yeah, no problem. Don't get attached. Unless you're going to give me a place to live. Then you can get attached. Right, Daryl? You know, because you got to find some place to stay. You know what I'm saying? You got to have a place to stay, Daryl. Talking about don't get attached. Imagine Daryl telling you, ladies, ladies out there who are listening to this, imagine a Daryl telling you don't get attached. <laughs> Just imagine it with all your might. Just try. Just try to imagine that. Because you is so damn bad that a Daryl is telling you don't get attached. Don't get attached. Don't get attached. So why you mad? Ben told you that. Don't get attached. You, you made a whole song about somebody not getting attached. You sound attached. Daryl, this song is given. You're attached. Okay? That's what it's given. That's what it's, that's all I'm saying is that's what it's given. Oh my God. That you, oh, the, to look back in your life and have been through the era, this era, that this was a part of your history. I mean, that's some unfortunate shit. Okay. My mom would tell me about these hoes. Uh -huh. Uncle told me keep your heart, never let it go. Oh my God. My mama told me about these hoes. Oh my God. I can't wait to see what he says next. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I, I got, I'm i very invested in how this goes. I want to know what this is. This is a love ballad, y'all. This is Daryl's love ballad. Okay. This is his love ballad, so we need to pay attention. We're going to learn a lot about Daryl, you know, the emotional side of Daryl. So pay attention, okay? Don't get involved. Don't get involved. You never know. You never know. Fake love. Let me tell you, they do the most. Just give them dick. Just give them dick. And get your chips. Oh, my God. Oh, you know. <laughs> Ew. Oh, my God. I almost lost my Chinese food, y'all. Oh, it almost came up. Oh, my God. Daryl, you, what you ain't going to do is talk about the D, okay? You ain't going to talk about your D. Like, we, we ain't going to do that. Mama got to sleep tonight, okay? No nightmares for mama, all right? <laughs> and if she talking the bag, then we hit the strip. Get more, get more. Make sure she come back fast. Ew, and if she talking the bag, let's hit the strip. Oh, oh my God, Daryl, Jesus. This is your love ballad? <laughs> Hear me, dip. These niggas cuffing me, bitch, it's not over here. She got attached, and now she mad. I'm about to bad, and I can never love her, no way. No, I ain't never. Oh my God, you and this auto-tune, Daryl. It's the auto-tune for me. Like, you like... <laughs> Daryl, honey, why is you keep making me laugh like this? This is ridiculous. Isn't it so romantic? It is. Jonana, he is so romantic. Make a mother work no more. Let's shut it better. Don't mind. Do not like that. Cause I'm addicted to grinding and chasing cash. Oh, now you mad. Been told you that. You gotta dig it. I told you, don't get it. Don't get it. Yeah. Feeling me, shorty. You like my swag. I know you feeling me, shorty. You like my swag. Oh, he know you feeling him. He know you feeling him, and you like his swag. <laughs> oh my God, Th them fingernails is not giving swag, honey. They giving. <laughs> if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. <laughs> them nails is giving something else, honey. You giving like. Homeless Catwoman vibes, okay? This is what you're giving. If Catwoman were a hobo, okay? You like my swag. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you, let's start it. Don't get attached. She told me, baby, I ain't not feeling you, but I don't give a fuck about what you do. I know, I know it's hoes gonna run through. Just call me up, let me fuck too. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, Daryl. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> he was he actually was delusional y'all <laughs> he really was delusional now i feel like a bully like this is like you know uh, picking on him just seems seems so wrong now i mean i'm gonna still do it i'm still gonna do it that's not gonna stop me or anything but just say it
Oh, what rhymes with swag? They like my swag. That's right, I said swag. <laughs> what rhymes with swag? Yes. <laughs> Cause you the dime won't cost you Play my part if I got to Being attached that we all lose Can't so bad, what do y'all do? That's how I shot it, like to fuck with me No strings attached, you like to keep it straight She hit my line, tell me bring the D I told shorty don't wait for me Ain't that funny? And uh, now, now keep this in mind Daryl only fool with underage girls So so all this shit he's talking about <laughs> Is minors Like this is all <laughs> This is all girls hopping off school bus that's why he always got his backpack on. This this is this is his thing. He calls himself the kid. <laughs> He's always walking around with a backpack on. Oh my God. He is built just like a kid. That's what it is, just because he's built like a kid. I mean, except for that old ass fucking gigantic face. Aside from that, yes. It's given very much kid. Okay. Given very much kid. Okay. Me, yeah. I told Shorty don't wait for me. Yeah. Don't get attached. Yeah, we, we ain't listening to that chorus. Okay, that's all chorus now. Thank you, Daryl. That was entertaining. I won't lie, Daryl. That was an entertaining uh, song. That was, um, you know, it was nice to see a different side of Daryl. You know, like, you know, it's like sometimes you just wonder if it's like, you know, like, was Daryl a romantic? If Daryl sung a love ballad, what would it sound like? And now we no longer have to wonder. We don't have to wonder anymore. We now know. Daryl in a love ballad. Oh my God. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. What we got? What's this one called? Changed up. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my God. He shot this video from inside of uh, one of those abandoned cars. <laughs> this is this. Just be walking around, just going and squatting in people's fucking car, y'all. <laughs> yeah, you changed on me. You oh. changed on me. Uh -oh. You changed on me. Uh oh, uh oh, we got us another love ballad, y'all. Uh oh, uh oh, this one, this one, this one sounds like he's really, you know, like a real deal love ballad. Okay, we're gonna really get an idea now. <laughs> You're gonna really get an idea about it. Okay, we're gonna know the inner feelings, you know, of the Daryl. Daryl's heart as he liked to talk about in his trial. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know my heart. Daryl said we didn't know his heart. We about to find out, okay? Just everybody pay attention. We gonna find out about Daryl's heart, okay? You change up. Yeah. I couldn't see it coming, now you change on me. I thought that you were solid, cause that's what you show me. I thought you was- Oh, did y'all know Daryl could sing? <laughs> Daryl is singing, y'all. He is singing a love ballad. Oh, my God. This is like the best thing in the world. This is so good. Daryl, this is such a good job. It's my brother, how you change on me? We came from the gutter, turn goofy, you show me. You changed on me, you know you changed on me. Oh, he's talking about one of his homies. Never mind. Well, I mean, that's his love life now. It's just going to be nothing but homie. Homie love a friend. You know <laughs> Put a one in the chat if you get the reference. Homie love a friend. Oh, come on. Put a one in the chat if you get it, if you get it. It's a song. It's an old song. Homie love a friend. You changed on me. Yeah, you changed on okay. me. Why you change up? Yeah. I ain't yeah. even see it. Why you change on me? Damn. You supposed to be my brother. We came up to shorty. And now I got the blicker. This niggas is phony. Okay. You went against the grain. Yeah, that's what you showed me. Remember all the days we struggled and couldn't eat. Oh, oh, this must have been one of his homeless buddies. <laughs> they're all sad about his homeless buddy. Oh, they're all, they're all, oh, they used to, you know, be hungry together, you know, and sit in the car together, you know, and be cold together, you know, steal together, I'm sure. Oh, and then he just changed on him. What did he do? Go get a job? Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> I said that and then I thought to myself, oh my God, that's probably exactly what happened. He had a friend who was also nothing and being nothing and doing nothing. Just like him. And then his friend went and got a job. Daryl said, 
And you changed on me. Yeah, you changed on me. You was like my homeless buddy and you changed on me. Oh, Daryl, did he leave you? He left you and went and got a fucking job. It's terrible. I can't believe it. Just a betrayal. <laughs> Hit the like button for mama, please. We sitting in the trap. We grinding with no heat. And I'ma catch uh -huh. a plug. These niggas is gonna see. Part, Never thought my partner would switch up and cross me. Never. Heard you going oh. state. Now that's where you lost me. It's codes in the street. You know it's so boss up. up. And you can't be around. You niggas is That didn't even rhyme, Daryl. Hold up. Now what you ain't gonna do. Okay. Cross me. Never. Heard you going state, now that's where you lost me It's codes in the street, you know it's so boss up And you can't be around, you niggas it's not us And we don't do no- Oh my god, you just gonna, you just gonna pretend like that rhymed and move on Now you- uh, Look at Daryl's, look at Daryl's, look at Daryl's profile, y'all You is giving very much, you know, Toucan Sam right here Like, this is very much Toucan Sam, okay? Okay? And mama love her a good Jewish nose, honey. I think it's a spectacular thing. This right here is something else, okay? This right here is giving Toucan Sam, okay? That 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 is a very special profile you got there, Daryl, okay? That's a very special profile. Now, you need to climb out of this here stranger's car that you done climbed in, okay? Before he come out and whoop your ass. No favors, you niggas is not blood. Change Your daddy was a crip, apparently. He said, <laughs> Daryl, how is you going to talk about somebody betraying you? And you is over here a whole blood, and your daddy is a whole crip. Not only a crip, but he's like the, the, the main crip. He's like the leader of the crips, is what he told, what he said when he uh, was working at the casino, which is an odd thing for a crip leader to do. <laughs> you know, work at a casino, <laughs> i.e., work. Okay. All right. I couldn't see it coming, how you change on me I thought that you were solid, cause that's what you show me I thought you was my brother, how you change on me Oh, Daryl, he had to get a job, okay? He had to grow up Not everybody can be a Toys R Us kid their whole life, okay? <laughs> Daryl's like a Toys R Us kid with no toys. That's Daryl. Oh, thank you, CM, a member for six months. This song was for his friend that found out he was a pedio. So, so his friend that he's singing about found out that he was on the registry <laughs> and was like, yeah, nah, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. And that's what he's talking about. Oh, he thought that was his homeboy, but apparently his homeboy didn't like the fact that he'd be chasing the children around. Let me guess, his homeboy had a daughter? His homeboy was like, you've been, you been around my fucking daughter, and you ain't never tell me you was on the registry? You're lucky I ain't kill you. Now go the fuck on. Oh, damn, Daryl. Damn. He came from the gutter, <laughs> turned goofy, you show me. You changed on oh, me when you changed. Oh, he turned goofy? Oh, he turned goofy. Oh, okay, just, just checking. Where your hat go, Daryl? <laughs> Hide your peninsula. Changed on me, you changed oh, on me, yeah, you changed on that me. I couldn't even believe it, yeah, you changed on me. He wrote a whole song about a guy who stopped being his friend because he found out he was on the registry. Now let that sink in. Imagine that. You had a homeboy. Your homeboy then found out that she was on the registry. Okay, for doodling children. Your homeboy said, fuck you, come around here again. I'm pulling your head off your shoulders. You then turn around and write a love ballad. <laughs> you write a love song about how he changed on you and how you can't believe that he changed on you and how he lay. Oh, okay. Got it, Daryl. Got it. You changed on me while you changed up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh you crying? Oh, Daryl was crying, y'all. It's terrible. Hmm. <laughs> I think the next one is. It's a half a ticket. Oh, the video though. There we go. Uh oh, uh oh. All right, I can do another half a ticket. I can do another half a ticket. I, it's hilarious. The half a ticket is hilarious. Look, Daryl bought a loaf for about a half a ticket. Did you know? <laughs> Did you know? <laughs> Tell us about the load that you got for half a ticket. I see you found a friend today. Daryl found a friend. He's like, come on, man, please. Just put this around your neck, okay? <laughs> 
I know it looks purple, but it's red, okay? Just think about it like it's red. <laughs> You're gonna be my member. Look, 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 look. You're gonna be in my, in my crew. Mark got that heel. Uh oh, they're all like, yeah, that's right. I'm a big dog for my peninsula. I just got a low worth about a half a tick. <laughs> Put a one in the chat if you knew I was gonna freeze it right there. Him pointing at his mother's car while he says the line. Funniest part. I just bought a low for about a half a ticket. Did you, Daryl? Is that the low or no? Okay. I'm thinking no. Get 30 in the blicker when I'm out here chasing chicken. Was observing to the game when I used to play the benches. Uh -huh. Now I swipe the Vinci. Got him looking at me different. I can't miss it. Hey, all with a stitch. He said, now I swipe Da Vinci. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Now I swipe Da Vinci and they're looking at me different. Probably because you just said something that make no fucking sense. I'm sure they were looking at you different, Daryl. Like, what the fuck is he talking about? Was he swiper no swiping? I swipe Da Vinci. Stop looking at me different. <laughs> I know, looking like Matilda with his big red bow. He got a big bow. Yeah, venom when I kiss him, yeah. Kidnap you and Mrs. Yeah. Work all in the kitchen, damn money by the ceiling fan. Shorty wanna take a chance. I'ma need a cash advance on Oh my god. Ain't that something? Shorty wanna take a chance. So so that's him implying that a girl is interested in him. That's that's slang for that, I'm sure. And he wants a cash advance. <laughs> so Daryl would like for a girl to pay for for, for for him to be like with them. You want me, girl? <laughs> you want me? You want all of this, girl? Daryl say, you want all of this? You gonna have to give me a cash advance, baby. That's what Daryl said. Daryl, honey, honey, Daryl, no. <laughs> you gonna need a cash advance? Oh my God, he wanna beat up the girls. He wanna steal the girls' money. This is what he wanna do. This is, this is, Daryl. It's unfortunate that you've done, you spent your whole life beating up girls, chasing girls, talking shit about girls, trying to get money from girls, and now you're going to live a whole life with not a single fucking female to be seen. Not a single fucking one. Nothing but males. Just sausage and hot dogs and baked beans everywhere. <laughs> Daryl is surrounded by hot dogs and baked beans, okay? All right, just hot dogs and baked beans all over the place. All right, he gonna have to eat all of it. It's terrible for him, but hilarious for me. Okay. We fuck with real critters, <laughs> and I've been around gorillas ever since a little nigga fucking on my babysitter. Put some prices on the nigga, you know they gonna come and get you. You say that something? He always lied on some girls. <laughs> First of all, you never had a babysitter. Remember, you used to complain because your mother would take you to the welfare office with her. So clearly she never left you with nobody, okay? I mean, you was always with her. So there's a lie. There was no fucking babysitter, all right? Weirdo, oh my God. Oh, oh my God, Jesus. See how the models did him, now he look like Tyson. Hit him, I was in the slums, any weather. I Hold up, I know he ain't talking about like he hit somebody, hold on. Put some prices on the nigga, you know they gonna come and get you. You see how the models did him, now he look like Tyson. Hit him, I was Oh, oh, he's talking about getting somebody else to whoop somebody's ass. Now that makes more sense. <laughs> I knew you wasn't implying that you whoop somebody's ass, especially not a guy with Franks and Beans, okay? No. Especially not somebody toting around Franks and Beans, okay? That's not Daryl Stilo, okay? He don't fight men. He fight ladies. He likes to fight not even ladies, girls. Fucking young girls. I was in the slums, any weather, I was still trapped and sliding on the pussy early morning. Bitch, you still lacking, caught a minute. What the fuck does that even? How... <laughs> uh, Daryl. In the mall, I had to tuck it in my heel figure. You know I got steel with them. Fully not that little pistol. Hurt, they putting cameras on the lights. Bitch, we still dealing. Give a fuck about the past, nigga. I'm a steel kid. You know love for the suckers. Listen, put them in the field. We bliss them. Shoot out all the ammunition. They move like some caterpillars. Post this on your soul. Oh my God. They move like some caterpillars. Look, look, look. What is, what is this there? <laughs> What's this um position that you're in right now? What What is this? If you put your hands down, grab your ankles, that's going to be more similar to your position where you at now, okay? Now, stand upright 
and take this position and grab your ankles. And that's going to be accurate. That's going to be an accurate depiction of the rest of your life. Okay. That's, that's, that's you now. <laughs> Social feed, Addies that extend release. Two cent boy, your talk is cheap. I won't stop till you deceased. Okay. Coming out your face, you bleed. Carbons, we gon' sweep the scene. Senses, we gon' find the heat. Take you out the movie screen. Right. Shout out to my. You ever try to write a song or write a poem, and and but your only thing that you tried to do was try to make the last word rhyme. It didn't matter if any of it made sense. It just needed. You just need to make that last word rhyme. He ain't even worried about syllables or nothing. Like he don't even. <laughs> Like how many syllables is it? <laughs> he don't care. He just, <laughs> this line has 48. This line has six. We're going to make it work. Right, Daryl? High five. Jesus. Yeah. Shoot a team. They going to handle teams for the revenue. Uh -huh. Can't even eat off these dishes. They got residue. Hey. Remember when I used to play the hall back in middle school? Okay. Remember when them cases had me stuck in that cubicle? Okay. Playing like you stupid dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not really called a cubicle. It's a cell. And yes, I do remember you being in one. In fact. You're in one right now. Like, that's where you're at right this second. So it's funny that you mentioned that. Remember back when they used to have me in a cubicle? No, because you do cubicles at jobs. You never had a job, Daryl. I think you mean a cell. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, though, Daryl. Nice try. Thought you were going to slip that one by me, didn't you? Mm hmm Talking about a cubicle. He tried to imply that he had a job, y'all. You ain't fooling nobody, Daryl. You ain't fooling nobody.